Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new ban list, and jeez, these things are are pretty big lately. It seems like it. Now, I don't think this one's as big as the yep. most recent ban list we got, but it is pretty substantial. Because Astrograph Sorcerer just got completely banned. We got Gemini Master Diamond Limited, and a whole bunch of other cards affected. So, Mario, you ready to go over some of this stuff? Talk about what the changes are in the current Yu-Gi-Oh! meta? Oh, yeah. The first thing is, they're really trying hard to kill Pendulum they Magicians. They do not they're want trying Pendulum to Magicians. They, they banned some stuff last time, and they took an Astrograph. Now, I'm a little upset by this one, because I'm literally just trying to make a Dino Mist deck, and it uses Astrograph beautifully. Like, fantastically, but it's being banned from that as well. I wish they did something else to nerf Pendulum Magicians, but I get it. It's a really good card. It, I feel like it might have been able to limit it to one, though. It should have been limited to one, but they just said, no, uh, we just then want again, pendulums out of yeah. this game. It's just because you can search it and then use that to swap it back and forth and do combos and stuff, which is kind of what the Dynamis deck did and certainly what the uh, Pendulum Editions use it for. So, yeah. Another thing besides them that are getting hit is uh, Draco Slayers and Draco Warriors. Those are uh, definitely having some updates, or I guess more so the Draco Slayer, because that... The uh, masterpiece, true Draco Slaying King, is now completely forbidden, right? Yep. So, this card here is banned. Now, neither of us are experts on this, but you can tell that they were pretty good in the meta. They're definitely up there, and they are trying to soften them up right now. Jeez. Because that's gone. Um, we see the Supreme King Starving Dragon Venom gone over here and then this guy is actually um i think this guy has a little more stuff but we'll go in order and see what goes next to that uh phoenixian cluster armorillis if you can't tell that's another card i don't know too much about but this card is also now banned you have any idea why it is mario the phoenix cluster it's mainly because plants have always had their consistency and in terms True. of they have that spell card that just keeps reviving them and reviving them. There's a lot of we big both plant faced, plays. We've both faced Pugs and his ridiculous plant deck. Yeah, you, and you can just see little plants being thrown in just about every deck lately just to get the extra, you know, mm -hmm. search power out there. So, And the Although Phoenix this Cluster is, is, yep, go is ahead. just one of, the catal one of the biggest catalysts you can get yeah. for a plant deck. So that's another one that was just hard banned right now. And then next up, we got the uh, Supreme King Starving Venom. As you mentioned, that's trying to be weakened up a little bit. So, so be it. Ancient Fairy Dragon. I was a little surprised by this one. Um, Same as it's good, and... but it can Until be Until really you look into it. Well, no, it's, Until you look it's into good it. when you look into it, too. It's just... I mean, I guess with a lot of stuff lately... I, theorize that like Lair of Darkness has become popular lately to mess around with field cards. Obviously with uh, um, True Dracos, that messes with field cards a lot. So it's probably to nerf that actually. Um, but yeah, this thing is just gone now. You can't use it for any decks. We've used it in like weaker decks before and it's completely balanced in them. But decks where you swap around the field cards a lot, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just being thrown into so many decks that they probably don't want an older card like that one being seen maybe i don't know i guess i just didn't want the combos to be as overpowered as they were next up on the ban we have rank up magic argent chaos force usually don't see a lot of rank up magic being banned but hey i guess they had to knock that out it's probably setting up a couple of too many combos and a big one oh, yeah. the grass looks greener this one's been really common lately oh yeah especially in zombie decks especially in 60 card Ooh. decks this makes 60 card decks so viable but funny enough, funny enough, a friend of mine just made a 60 card zombie deck with this card being this. the optimal play. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he was it sends 20 cards to your graveyard when you pop. The, well, I guess 15 cards to the graveyard. I uh, know no, it's about yeah 20 cards. If you run a 60 card deck, they're running a 40. Obviously, it varies a little bit, but that's a lot of cards into your graveyard. Any deck with graveyard plays greatly benefits from it. So I can see why they would ban this card, but it was limited at one. Is it searchable but, by anything, though? That's the question. Not, a, not that I know of. It's not yeah. a field card. It's just a normal spell card, so mm. it's not searchable by any means I know. Fair enough. But yeah, those uh, 
like that and light sworn obviously sending 20 cards to the grave there's a lot of things that this was just making really really strong and maybe that's not exactly what they had in mind with it so moving on to the next thing we have dynamite knight the true draco fighter hey look another draco would you look at mm -hmm. that <laughs> dracos aren't being nerfed okay they're doing that a little bit but thing is it is now actually getting taken off the ban list so they're giving a little give and take with this this has now just become limited so you can use one of these in your deck when you can't use this one and so on and so forth so they're really mixing that around trying to optimize that which makes sense mm -hmm. considering it's still pretty close to top meta oh yeah it's gonna be a little challenging for the draco players but you know yeah, I feel like they're gonna. It's, yeah. it's gonna change a little bit. We'll see how that mixes around and how much that affects it. Let's see what's mm. up next. Oh no, one that's near and dear to me. <laughs> one that's so near and dear to me. The Gem Knight Master Diamond is being limited. It used to be able to run three. You can now only run one. Now, if you're running Gem Knights just like a normal Gem Knight player, getting out attack and doing stuff like that, this is fine. Usually, you definitely wouldn't run more than two Gem Knight Master Diamonds. In fact, in my burn deck, I don't run more than two Gem Knight Master Diamonds. However, to do the combo where you FTK completely burn your opponent's life points, you need two Gem Knight Master Diamonds, or else your average amount of burn damage is going to be 6,000 life points. So... Maybe Konami is watching you, Zylo. They're staring Maybe at my videos. Are. They saw the hardships and the tears I brought with my Fight Club deck. <laughs> First, they t limited my Grinder Golem. Then they limited this guy. But yeah, no, this is actually... I'm just going to say it's smart. As much as, you know, it's a shame. It's smart. It completely stops the FDK from that deck. There's still a couple scenarios where you can make it happen. Like, if your opponent special summons a monster and you go turn two... Um, then you can still do the full burn by doing 4,000 points of burn, but you need two of these guys to pull off two, um, to pull off three of the burn effects in one turn. So, unless you find some awkward way around it, Gem Knight burn is no more. Stopped yeah. with a flick of one card. Oh, man. So let's see what else is here. Ooh, we see the Chain Strike, um, is now being limited to one instead of two. So... I guess they're just once again trying to limit the burn a little bit. This is seen in decks, obviously, mm -hmm. more so that chain often, but it seems a lot of burn's been going around lately. It's been making a comeback with the Gem Knights and Trick Stars and a couple other things as well been uh, being seen lately. So, no surprise there. We have uh, Apocrypha Towers. Now, this one we talked about in the last video we went over the ban list because it was just put to limited from Forbidden completely. And now it's being moved up to your allowed two of them, semi-limited. So, my best guess is they thought people might jump on this. They didn't. Now they're trying to give them more reason to jump on it. Now you can pop two of them in there. We might start seeing these cards now. I don't know for sure. What do you think? Mm, it's hard it's to say, CD right? Pope. It's hard to say, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so. the fact of uh, just seeing cool forts in general anymore. Yeah. So, it, I guess they're trying to make... That archetype just live again and hasn't worked yet. But maybe having two will make some people a little more per persuaded to play it. Um, but moving on, mm -hmm. I suppose we have Ring of Destruction. Not a big change here, just being changed from limited to semi-limited. Um, more burn damage, I guess, but it's a weird kind of burn. So, mm. You sacrifice your own monster and it has to be lower than your opponent's current life points right now. Yeah, I That's can see why the they would Rada. put that to semi limited because it doesn't seem like it's incredibly powerful but obviously it's gonna annoy a lot of people when you use too much of this so definitely and then it can leave your opponent very close to death yeah if you play it right mm -hmm. so maybe that'll no let's be honest i wouldn't run ring of destruction in an average burn deck <laughs> so we'll see if we see um any more of that now that two are allowed I don't think that's going to make any major changes, though. But what will make some major changes, every Atlantean player can rejoice now. Dragoons is now unlimited. You can have three of these instead of limiting yourself to two, which means you can do three Neptibus Dragoon combos. If you guys didn't see Season 2 of Fight Club, I had to run an Atlantean deck with only Sea Serpents in it. So this combo was extremely important to me. And being able to do it one more time is going to help 
a sea serpent so much. It's going to help Atlanteans a ton. So that's going to be a really interesting thing to see. Now, obviously, you know, that's going to be three turns into the duel that this will actually make a difference. So for like speed players and really quick games, it's not going to make a huge difference. But hey, I can tell you right now, every Atlantean deck is probably going to put a third Dragoons in there. At least mm -hmm. I certainly am. Uh, then we have and over not here. Only that, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, with all the new support Atlanteans have been getting as well, mm -hmm. they've, they've been getting here and there support. Yeah. They're trying to bring back Atlanteans. And I definitely am down to perfect my old Fight Club deck. Because I tried it in some streams and it still holds up. So we'll see if I can like make that a really good one. Maybe that's another... Nah, I guess that wouldn't be a dual week. I already know how to play them. Um, but we're mm -hmm. going to move on to Grand Soil, the Elemental Lord. He was originally forbidden. Now he's just unlimited because people don't care. Um, I guess he's just a uh, Earth version of like Pyrorex and Mullen Glacier. Mm -hmm. so they're five. like they're like supercharged version of the Monarchs, I believe. Yeah, five Earth monsters. Um, now, why was this banned before? I guess there was probably some weird combo that was letting you just go crazy with this guy. Or something. Oh, it was a Monster Reborn. When this guy is special summoned, you can target one monster in either player's graveyard. Special summon that target. Ah, uh, yeah, so maybe they're just unlimiting that. It's like, ah, we brought Monster Reborn back. We can bring him back, too. That might be it. The reasoning behind mm -hmm. it, at least. Uh, then we have the um, little bit of uh, Ignis Heat, which was limited to one, but now it's actually just taken off the ban list. You can have three of these again. Um, once again, not a Draco player, so I don't know if this is going to change things substantially. But as I said, there's some give and takes when it comes to the Draco deck. So if you have, if you guys want to see us maybe mess with Draco Warriors, I guess tell us. But mm -hmm. we don't know I'm anything sure about it. It'll happen eventually. So um, then, Mathematician, pretty all-around decent card. Was at two is now unlimited. So if you want to run some combos with that, feel free to go ahead. Obviously, you can do some rank four plays, which could be useful still. Obviously, in decks that utilize that a lot. We have Neo Space and Grand Mole now being unlimited as well. Never really a game-breaking card, but a fun trolley card, so it'll be mm -hmm. fun to see, uh, you know, decks that really mess around with people having three of these in it just to do stuff like that. And also, Compulsory is now unlimited, because I haven't seen a lot of Compulsory lately, so mm -hmm. obviously it can send to back to the hand, which is pretty good, but it does have to target, which means it's avoided by a lot of things. Yeah, and not only that, there's so many cards now, monsters in general low level monsters that when they're summoned or special summoned or if you have to send a card to the grave just to return one of your cards your opponent controls mm -hmm. it's just like yeah it's like oh there's, I'll just do that so, yeah yeah it's like there's no need for this card to be there yeah anymore. it's just a spot in the deck so i really don't see people running multiple compulsories most decks weren't running if one only, but you can now you can go unlimited so. i mean if you want to roll if you want a troll deck, it's good. Yeah, if you run a troll deck, there's that. But then again, there's a lot of fun options for a troll deck. So I feel like mm -hmm. just, uh, yeah, between him and Neospace and Grand Mole, troll decks are back in action. Um, but aside from that, that is the entire ban list. So obviously a lot of changes to Dracos. We'll see how that pans out. Grass is greener. What had its little moment of shine, but is now gone. And geez, Astrograph Sorcerer is probably the biggest change here. So we'll see about that. And no more Gem Knight FTK. It's so sad. Yay! No, I, I had so much fun trolling with and, that. And not only that, they still haven't touched my trick stars. They haven't. <laughs> trick stars are still lingering up there in the meta. You know, not right at the top, but certainly not falling down too far. So they're doing a, they're doing good where they, they are right now. They can still win. They can still win. Oh yeah, exactly. They're staying right in that sweet spot. It's like we want to be good, but not good enough to be nerfed. So. Um, yeah, seems like that's working out nicely, but yeah, let us know what you think are the biggest ramifications of the new ban list. Um, I'm, I'm actually more upset about the Astrograph Sorcerer than the Gem Knight Master Diamond, because I've already done way too many Gem Knight FTKs for one lifetime. I'm fine with that, but I was <laughs> just about to dip into using Astrograph and they ban him. So let us know what you think is the, um, biggest annoyance or biggest yay! And yeah, I suppose... Leave a like if you have enjoyed, comment, all that stuff we mentioned, and I'll see you next time.